In this video, we're going to look at how we can style text when we're creating a mail message in Spark. We're going to look at this on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. Let's first look at this on the Mac. So I am in Spark here, and let's go and create a new mail message. So I'm going to go up under File here, and then we go over to New Email. I can also use Command N. Now what I want to do is just start typing here. What I would like to do is format this text. Maybe make the word start bold. Maybe make typing italic. How do I format this text? Well, on the Mac, what we need to do is go down to the lower right-hand corner of our draft window here. This is a draft. So I click on this little T here, and now you're going to see I have my formatting bar. What I'm able to do is make anything bold, italic, underline. I can add a strike through. I can change the font, the size, the color. I can add a list or make anything a list. And then I can also indent and I can remove any formatting. If you have a link, you can also do that. So we have all of our different formatting options in this toolbar here. So let's go and select my start. I want to make it bold. We're going to take typing. I'm going to make it italic. And now we can see it is bold and italic. Now, why would you want to remove your formatting here? Well, what you may want to do is copy something from another email, or maybe you're copying something from Pages or Microsoft Word. When you paste it into Spark, it's going to remember all of that formatting in a lot of cases. Maybe the text is going to be very large, or you want to change the color. Well, what you can do is just select whatever you've copied. In this case, I'm just going to select this text here. I want to remove the formatting for this text here. All I have to do is just select the text, and then I just go over to my Remove Formatting button, and we can see it just removed all of the formatting. From here, what I can do is reformat it. So it's basically a way of starting over. I use this a lot when I'm copying something out of another app or another email. I don't want it to remember that formatting. I want it to use the formatting that I have in this email. So basically what I do is I just go and select everything, remove the formatting, and then I can go back and start the formatting all over again. Now what about the iPad and iPhone? Well, let's first look at this on the iPad. I'm going to create a new email message here. I have my draft here. Let's go and type in here, start typing. So I have my text here. I want to format it. Well, basically what I have to do on the iPad is just double click on it. You can see it is highlighted there. And then you're going to see the formatting bar at the bottom. We have all of the same tools. I can make it bold. I can make it italic. I can add a color. I can indent it. I can make it a list. And I can even remove the formatting. So I have a lot of the same options that I do on the Mac. So again, let's go and make this bold. Now we can see it is bold. I want to remove the formatting. All I have to do is go back over to the T here, and it removes the formatting. On the iPhone, it basically works the same way. Let's go ahead and open up our iPhone here. I'm going to create a new mail message. I type in Start Typing. And you're going to see I have a lot of the same features down at the bottom. It's kind of hidden. I can tap on the paper clip to add an attachment. I can tap on the little template to the right of that to select a template. If I want to format it, what I need to do is tap on the little T here. And when I tap on the T, I can see all of my different formatting options. And I can swipe this over to the left or right to get to the different tools. So it's not quite as easy as the iPad, but it's not too difficult. Again, what I have to do is just select what I want. I tap on the T above my keyboard. And then from here, I can select what I want to format it with. Let's make this one italic. And then I tap on the check mark at the very left here. So I tap on the check mark, it applies it. I want to remove it. Tap on the T again. I have it selected. And then from here, what I'm able to do is remove the formatting, and it removes that formatting. So that is how 
we format our text when we're creating an email in Spark on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. We basically have all of the same features on all of the different devices. We just access them a little bit differently depending on the device. On the Mac, we tap on the T in the lower right hand corner when we're writing a draft. On the iPad, we just start typing and you're going to see the formatting bar across the bottom. If you have a keyboard, a virtual keyboard, it'll be above the keyboard. And then on the iPhone, we're going to have to tap on the T key like we do on the Mac actually. And then we're going to see all of our different options. To apply it, we tap on the check mark. So that is how we format our text when we're creating emails and Spark on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone.